Hey Messiah family. So uh, I wanted to make another short quick video that is an addendum to our annual report. So this is a wait, there's more to what we did in 2020. We inadvertently left out our caring ministry and we didn't want to do that without uh, bringing up the amazing things that they do. They're an important part of our uh, ministry here at Messiah. So I just wanted to give you an addendum uh, that talks a little bit about caring ministries. All right. Uh, before COVID hit in March of, of last year, caring ministries was a busy team, right? Uh, there was caring meals that was going on, uh, providing meals to people during a difficult time. There was second family, one-on-one uh, -on -one caregiving to homebound uh, folks, providing friendship and assistance to them, right? Uh, there was receptions and occasional events and the coordination of the kitchen, you know, funerals, weddings, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, hospitality, uh, you know. Messiah's kitchen team, uh, there was the prayer chain, there's the grace team, right? Those are the people that make sure people are greeted, respected, and cared for and encouraged on a Sunday morning, right? The welcome team. Uh, and then we've got the quilting team that does amazing uh, stuff as well as the prayer shawl ministry, right? And so in January and February, all right, second family care team led by Kathy Otto was hosted a lunch and learn. On January 17th, they they entitled it "Understanding Essential Caregiving Legal Documents," and 25 people from Messiah in the community came to attend that. And on February 16th, the second lunch and learn uh, was able to get in uh, on cyber scams. Okay, and that was a great one as well. All right, uh, so uh, that great stuff was happening. It was a um, by our care partners team and so we are very grateful for that so then when COVID arrived in March all right person to person contact what happened it became extremely limited right and in order to keep in contact with many people who live alone we decided that through the caring team we would put together a telephone and email team to reach out to our folks either weekly or monthly depending upon their need and this team even today still continues to contact members that we are still unable to check in with face to face all right on sunday mornings so because all of us are worshiping a lot of us are worshiping online so it's a wonderful thing that caring ministries put together so throughout the pandemic though the second family care team continued to check in with the care partners uh, they did some front porch visits when they were uh, able and it was appropriate to do so uh, the safety of the care partners and the caregivers was paramount in all of their contacting. So they made sure that they had masks and social distancing was always practice. And then additionally, Joanne Kramer, the caring ministries team leader, coordinated several meals uh, events remotely. Okay, so uh, wonderful things happen. Uh, members of Messiah also found their own individual ways of serving. Uh, during the pandemic, right? Several of our members were making masks for healthcare workers and nursing homes, as well as our chrysalis teachers, right? Amazing stuff. In May, Joanne Kramer helped coordinate the chrysalis teachers luncheon so that we could still show our support for our chrysalis teachers. And then in November, we celebrated the work of our quilting team who continued to make quilts uh, from home, right? And those were sent off to Lutheran World Relief. So thanks to Nina and all of her team, that was still able to continue to happen. And then in November, we also highlighted our prayer shawl team. Now get this, we get calls from all different states for people we don't know about because of the prayer shawl ministry asking for prayer shawls. And that is an amazing ministry that has gone beyond the bounds of Messiah. And so we want to give special thanks to Marianne Coleman for coordinating the team and all of those people who are a part of that. All right. And then finally in December, a group of women from the second family care team put together about 20 Christmas care bags for some of our homebound members. Listen, the calling and the purpose of our caring ministry is to help and care for people, right? Both our members and members of the community and neighbors alike. Now, the pandemic has caused us to think of ways that we can do that differently, but we've also found that regardless of whether we are in person or not, we can still care for one another. 
And that is the important thing.